Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, my name is Mackenzie and I am a sophomore fashion merchandising student at Kent State University, but I am home in Maryland right now on my winter break and we're kicking off like a series of vlogs. So this whole week is going to kind of be room makeover vlogs with Ikea. I am so excited for this collaboration. I partnered with them during back to school season to help bring my college apartment to life. I will leave those videos linked down below if you wanna check them out and today we're going to be making over my bedroom at home. So if you have been keeping up with some of my other vlogs, you'd know that pretty much everything is out of my room. My tripod and my ring light are here, and then I have a couple of lamps, and my bed is literally sitting on the ground with Madison, my twin sister, on it. We are headed to the Ikea in Baltimore this morning, um, which is about an hour away from our house, and this is what we are wearing. Come stand up. Are you so excited, Madison? We're rocking the flannel with leggings today. That's kind of the These vibe. These are... I might have to change better. All right, we've made it, guys. We are at the White Marsh location in Baltimore, and they are practicing safe shopping with COVID, keeping you safe, doing everything they can. And of course, the first thing is to put on your mask. So Madison and I are masking up. Ikea's doing their part to keep you safe during their shopping. We have made it upstairs and we're gonna take you through the three different parts to every Ikea. So first you start off in the showroom and it's basically mocked up rooms showcasing the products. This gives you tons of different inspiration on how to set up your own bedroom, office space, kitchen, living room you name it and they have so many cute displays then you go through the marketplace and that is where you actually pick up the stuff so that's where you'll find pillows curtains they have tons of kitchen supplies all that kind of stuff and then if you choose to buy any furniture you're going to pick that out in the warehouse and that's everything will come in boxes and that's what i'm going to be doing today most of the things i'm going to pick up are actually in the warehouse because like i said we are redoing my bedroom. So I have no furniture in there right now. We are on the hunt for a dresser, a nightstand, a bookshelf, a bed, and then I wanna grab a few different pillows and a set of curtains, maybe some other things to add to my bedroom. So we're up in the showroom now. They give you a really helpful map that kind of shows you where everything is. And like it says, all you do is follow the number signs to find what you're looking for. So everything moves in one direction and they have all of these little foot placings on the ground to kind of help guide you through the showroom and keep you safe during COVID. So we're starting off in the showroom entrance, which usually starts off with a bunch of different kids displays. Super, super cute up here. And then as you go to the left, these are new since the last time we've been here. Comment below if you could see Madison in this kitchen. This bed is absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, I'm looking for some bedroom inspiration. I have a twin bed, but I love these pillows. Those are really cute too. If you guys watched my vlog from the summertime, when I was here picking out furniture for my college apartment, I picked up the LAC $29.99 and I literally love it. I have it in the light tan and Madison has it in this color as well. Now we've moved into the quote unquote living room storage and this is where a bunch of TV stands and all that kind of stuff. Ikea also has these throughout the showroom and if you pick one up, you can just like they're like little disposable rulers to help measure stuff. I have the measurements of my bedroom on my phone. That way I can, you know, measure out different pieces that I like and decide what's gonna fit in my space. All right, I literally love this bookshelf right here, but it's a little too wide for the space in my bedroom, but this is what it's called in case you're looking for something similar. I love the idea of keeping a bookshelf in my bedroom to keep shoes on. But I really like that this one has the like closed area, you know, so you can store things that you don't want people to see. I just wish it were a little bit narrower. So one of the most popular shelving units at Ikea is the Billy. My parents actually have a version of this in our living room. And I think I'm going to pick this one up just because I really want to use the bookshelf for, to stack different heels and shoes, which is similar to my bedroom beforehand. 
but um, they have like tons of different ways that you can customize this and you can move the shelves to like different heights and stuff. So this is gonna end up being the perfect option. I really debated getting one of these cube units too because these store so much. We have something similar in my bathroom at school and I literally love it. Definitely a must if you're going to college and the price cannot be beat. This is literally like the perfect size if you're moving into a dorm room and it stores so much. Look at how stinking cute it is in here. I love the little coffee bar display. So. That table's really cute size too if you lived in an apartment and you needed something small. Okay, we're moving into the workspace area and I also have one of their desks. I have the Mickey and I have it in white. $79, literally the best desk ever. I love it. It's the perfect size and it's deep enough, which is the best. This is what the drawers look like. They actually have stuff in their drawers here, but I keep my hair stuff in this. I keep my jewelry and some of my makeup in this. And then in these little cabinets down here, there's different wood and you can put them at specific heights. And I use these for all of my school supplies and stuff at school. And then you can also buy the little hutch to go up top. In that workspace area, they also have my beloved nine drawers. I have both versions of the Alex. I have the shorter ones at school and then I have the tall ones at home. I had the tall ones in my college dorm freshman year. They just were a little too big for my bedroom this year, but I am planning on bringing them back to my apartment next year. So definitely a great option if you are looking to store a bunch of smaller stuff, makeup, bras, underwear, socks, cleaning supplies, all that kind of stuff that you need concealed in an apartment setting. Okay, I have successfully found the bookshelf that I want and now I need to find a dresser and a nightstand. Hi guys, we are in the dresser slash nightstand little area. And I really like this one, but it's a little short. And I also really like this one. And this one's much longer. We're kind of playing around with ideas right now and trying to find a similar nightstand that could pair with it. I really like this one because it has the backing to it, which I think is really nice. But um, yeah, we'll see what I end up getting. Both of these are available in tons of different colors. I think they come in white, black, brown, and gray. Um, but I'm going to go with white either way, regardless of what I end up getting, just because, like I said, I want to keep it white, black, and gray in there. All right, we've reached the end. It kind of just ends with a little bit of organization, more toys, all that kind of stuff. And now we're going to head down to the marketplace, and we're going to start picking up some pillows and stuff. Okay, I need to grab curtains while I'm here as well, because... My old furniture was all off-white, and so my curtains at home right now are off-white, and I'm just looking for literally just solid white curtains to really let the light in, natural light in for when I take all of my pictures and videos in my room. I also, this is the best little toolkit. They have tons of toolkits here. Perfect if you're moving into a dorm. All right, time to pick out a couple of pillows. I need a couple of gray pillows to kind of bring the gray back into my room because the bed frame that I just picked out is black. So I'm gonna pick one of these options. I have this one at school and I really like it. So I might grab two of these. The pillows, you buy the inserts and the covers separately, which is really, really nice. So if you already have a pillow insert at home, you can just come here and pick out one of the covers over top. Or if you are just, you know, like in a pillow rut, you wanna swap out your throw pillows, but you don't want to buy a whole new pillow, you can just grab new covers and switch them out like every season or something. I have those gold and white polka dots at school and then I also have this yellow one too. $3.99, I mean such a steal. I also have a couple of gray ones at school too. Starting at $3.99. We are moving into rugs. And there's a chance I might grab a rug, there's a chance I might not because I actually have a gray one at home right now. And I might just keep the same one. This is the rug I grabbed for school and I literally love it. I get so many questions on it. This is what it's called, $150 and it's a five by seven, but it's seriously so nice and we always get compliments on it from people that come in our room. They also have tons of different picture frames here. The only reason I'm not picking any up today is because I already have a gallery wall on my bedroom at home and all of the frames are from Ikea. I picked them up almost two and a half, three years ago and I usually get the Fiskbo ones 
just because they're really really light and they don't like they're really easy to hang on the wall you don't need to nail anything into the wall just use a couple of command strips and they'll push right on so that's where I get them I always get questions about my um, picture frames I literally want this mirror so bad for my room next year catch me in my junior year moving vlog and then this little area gives way to the warehouse, which is where you go and pick up your furniture in the boxes to bring home and build. All right, we've got all of our boxes loaded up. If you are a college student, stop what you're doing and listen to me. These bags right here are the absolute best. They are the perfect bags. They weigh nothing but fit everything, clothes, linens, towels, like anything that you can move to college, you need to move in these bags. Now they have the normal bags that are like a dollar usually, but the $4.99 zipper ones are the best. Trust me, you will thank me later. Long rectangle. Long rectangle and they stack perfectly in cars. I have about eight of them and I use them every single time I come home for everything. Trust me. Okay, so we just went and picked up all the furniture, the pillows, the bed, and everything is in boxes like we showed you guys at the end. This is a very sad packing job. Dad, I'm sorry. There's just no other way. I it's just, it was hard to pack it because we had to take my mom's car because my car is obviously dead. It was really hard to pack it because of these two things the, that go to the bed. But we got it. Because they are too long for our vehicle. This is what happens when you have to use mom's car because my car has gone now. But we got everything in here. We've got the mirror, the bed. We've got part of the dresser and the drawers in here. And then in my dad's car, which is the car I drove here, we've got the pillows, we have the curtains, and the rest of the boxes of stuff in the trunk. And then we have one of the seats down. So kind of a makeshift pack job, but we've made it work somehow. And now we're gonna drive home and start getting the room together. So we are home now and I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. Most of it is in brown boxes waiting to be built. So you're not gonna see the full finished product just yet. We still have to build it all, but I wanna give you guys at least the names of what I ended up picking up. So I grabbed two of these pillow inserts. I got the down pillows and I got the 65 by 65 centimeters, which is 26 by 26 inches. I wanted two larger pillows because I'm used to having smaller ones and I wanna just switch things up on this bed in here. And then the covers that I got for these are called the Sanellas. I just got two inserts two gray charcoal gray covers they've got like a velvet finish to them so they're super super soft and then I just grabbed some white curtains these are called the Hilja and I actually just put them up already super simple I wanted something that was kind of light and airy that would really let the natural light into my bedroom since I do sit right in front of the window quite often when filming like I am right now and then everything else is in boxes I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this but this is the dresser I ended up picking out it's H A UGA and it's about 54 inches long so I grabbed the white and there are a couple of boxes full of the wood because we have to put it together and then I grabbed the matching nightstand with it that had three drawers and this one is 27 and a half inches long I also picked up a bookcase and the one that I grabbed was the Billy like I told you and I grabbed this in white as well Hi guys, I also grabbed this white mirror. It's very, very large. I'm not 100% sure where this is gonna go yet. There's a chance I might hang it on the wall and depending on how much space I have in my bedroom, there's a chance I might have it standing up in the corner. I literally have no idea how to pronounce this, but here is the name of the mirror. And last but certainly not least, I picked out a bed frame. My last bed frame was wooden and I wanted to switch things up. This is the current situation. My box spring and mattress are literally just sitting on the ground right now. And while Madison begins building my bed first, I'm actually going to like take off my old bedding and start getting my new sheets and comforter and stuff that I picked up a few weeks ago onto this. shelf is literally so tall 
but it's built and it actually the size of your door. It actually didn't take them too long. Yeah, it's the exact same height as the door. It's about seven feet tall. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six um layers. I wish I would have gotten more of these so that way I could have made them a little bit closer together, but I didn't even think about it. But this is where a majority of my shoes are gonna go. Madison is about to get to work on the nightstand and my bed is all made and put together. I need a little bit of black, like I need to get like a black throw pillow or something to kind of bring that color back in. The nightstand has been built and it is in place and I am starting to fill it full of tops and a few other things and while I fill this Madison and dad have moved on to the dresser. They are working on the drawers right now. They've already got um, the main part of it built but team effort. is getting kind of long so I'm actually going to end this video off here we just finished putting together all of the furniture and it is 8 30 but we haven't rearranged everything yet I haven't put clothes back into the drawers and stuff so I am going to split this video up into two different parts and you guys can come back tomorrow to see the final room reveal it is going to look so good I'm so excited it's already coming together really beautifully so make sure you guys stick around and hit that subscribe button a big thank you to Ikea for sponsoring today's video make sure you check in tomorrow for the final room tour and we'll go from there. Love you guys. Bye.